So we've run payroll now. We did so in a prior presentation and we've run in essence two months of payroll at this point in time. Let's just give a quick recap of the journal entry that happens when we enter the payroll into the system. And before we do that, let's take a quick look at the flow chart of what happens in the payroll cycle. Remember that payroll is just like a vendor cycle typically. If it wasn't for all the, the laws and taxes and withholdings, we would just be paying someone and it would be like a vendor activity and we'd have wages expense and checking account would go down. But because there's so much stuff we have to track, including withholdings and taxes, it's got its own world here. It's its own thing. It's its own specialization. And so therefore we could track the time, meaning if they're on an hourly basis, we need to know how much time is going to be entered to process the paychecks. But you could do that outside of the system and you might be paying someone's salary and the time could also be used in a job cost system to create invoices. Then of course, we got to turn on the payroll, set up the payroll so we can process the payroll, which we will do periodically, typically weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly or monthly. We are doing it monthly for the purpose of our practice problem. This is where we create multiple payroll checks, a payroll check per employee that will be like any other kind of check form, but specially designated as a check form in the transaction detail report so we can distinguish it from other check forms or bill payment check forms, for example, and so on. We will also, also be making withholdings when we do this as well. That will increase a liability account and we'll also have our portion of the taxes which will increase the liability account and record an expense there. Now we're in this component where we want to pay the liabilities that have been accumulated. So we took, we took some money, in theory, this is what happened. In theory, we took some money from our employees and we're gonna pay it on their behalf to the government. So remember, you can kind of think of it as though we gave it to the employees and then they gave it back to us, this being Social Security, Medicare, federal income tax, so that we can pay to the government on their behalf. In actuality, the government forced us not to give it to them at all. We don't want to get their hands on it. The government says, don't let the employee touch it. <laughs> so, and we're supposed to give it directly to uh, the government. And then of course we had our payroll taxes that we have to pay uh, over and, ab and above. That's what the liability has accumulated at this point. We need to pay that. Notice that this whole process has nothing to do in essence with the payroll reporting forms because we're, we're paying the taxes not when we file the reporting forms, but just in the normal process. And then the informational forms that are reporting forms are the quarterly 941s, the 940 at the end of the year, the W2s and the, and the W3s, which will summarize this whole process, basically taxable, payroll, the, the withholdings and whatnot, and compare that to what we actually paid and, and so on.